Service main, the distributor and the feeder are some of the important words in the distribution of electricity. In this video, you will understand the function of the service main, the distributor and the feeder in a very easy way. So make sure you watch the video till the end. So you stay in a house where the electricity supply is available. Of course, the house got the supply from somewhere. Even if you look at the factory, the factory is also getting the supply from somewhere, right? Now, if you look at around your house, you will notice the conductor is coming from the outside and it is getting connected to a meter which is there in your house. Or to a factory, a cable is coming from the distribution company and getting connected to a meter or incoming panel. And that conductor or cable which connects the supply to your house or factory is called a service main. The service main can be of two types. One overhead service main and the another one is the underground service main. Overhead service mains as the name suggests uh, are directly taken from the overhead distribution lines. This is the most common and cost effective way to take the service main. This type of method is the easiest one. You don't need any skill labor or uh, for taking the service main. Also conversion from supply like uh, if you want to convert one phase to three phase, it is very easy. Fault identification is also very easy. But yes, aesthetically it does not look that good. This method is generally used in rural areas. The second type of service main is the underground service main. As the name suggests, the service connection is taken from the underground cable. This type of service connections are majorly used in populated urban areas. Uh, compared to the overhead service, this is costlier but it also offers more safety, longer life and aesthetically it looks neat and clean. Fault detection can get cumbersome and skill labor is required for taking the connection. Let me know in the comment section which type of service main you have in your house or building. Is it the overhead or is it the underground? So the house or building or a factory is powered by a service main. Of course, the service main would also be receiving the power from something, right? And the conductor or cable that powers the service main is known as the distributor. The distributor can have multiple service main. You see many taps are taken from the distributor. So the overhead line that you see near your house or building from which you are receiving the service main is nothing but a distributor. The distributor is an important link between the electrical power supply company and the consumer. The distributor can be categorized into two categories. The primary distributor which is a high voltage distributor and allows the power supply for customer who needs let's say 11 kV directly. Example of such customers could be a factory, a shopping mall, a commercial building and many more. Another type of distributor is known as a secondary distributor. It is basically a low voltage distributor for example 415 volts so that is the distributor. By the way if you find this video helpful then do consider liking this video that will help the video to reach other audiences like you. And if you are interested in learning about electrical engineering in the easiest way, then you should consider subscribing the channel. Now, of course, the distributor would also be getting powered from some cable or conductor. And that cable or conductor which powers the distributor is called the feeder. The feeder will directly come from the substation and since it is feeding the power to different distributor, it is called the feeder. The feeder is linked between the distribution substation and the distributor conductor. Please note, no tapping is taken on the feeder. Since there are no taps taken on the feeder, the current at the receiving end uh, remains the same as the current at the sending end. And the selection of the feeder is done based on the current carrying capacity. Now if you look at the example shown on the screen, we have a substation, let's say it's a 36 kV by 11 kV substation, it is getting 36 kV as incoming and then the supply is getting stepped down to 11 kV. From the substation, the feeder is carrying the supply to the distributor. Now the feeder's length would be more than the distributor's. You see the feeder is connected to a pole mounted transformer. From here the distributor is carrying the supply. 
and on the distributor you can see different service mains are connected which is powering the different loads so that is all about the service main distributor and feeder if you found this video helpful please consider liking as subscribing and sharing it by doing so you are helping others like you to learn about electrical engineering in the easiest way so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning